a comic book community, Long Box Love Affair here. I am about an hour and a half away from home. I'm in Winchester, Virginia, and there is a comic book sale that could potentially be huge. Uh, lots of long boxes, lots of keys, first appearance of Ghost Rider, Gambit, Cable, Deadpool, all those major keys have been uh, pulled out to say the least. And I have no idea what the person's charging. I have no idea what's available. They, the guy said there's thousands of comics in his ad. So uh, I'm here an hour early. Got here at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock is when uh, it opens. And there, I'm 12th in line. I put my name on a list. And so I'm just walking around killing some time right now. Uh, I'm 12th in line. So who knows if I'm gonna be able to pick up anything good. So fingers crossed. We'll see what actually happens today here in Winchester. All right, that was very frustrating. That was very frustrating. So I was 12th on the list. I got in the door. They opened late, a couple minutes, whatever. And this guy essentially rented out a storefront that had several different rooms full of stuff. So everything from t-shirts that seem to have a collectible market to toys, He-Man, things like that, to uh, records, and they had some comics. Everything was spaced out. Comics were in different parts of the room. Nothing was priced. Nothing was priced. And so I, I beelined it. I found comics before anyone else, which was great. You know, there's people in front of me, so I expected that not to be the case. And there's a lot of just dollar comics, if that. Things you'll find in 25 cent bins, dollar bins, whatever. And the advertisement for this sale had things like Marvel Spotlight 5, X Men 266, the first Gambit, so the first Ghost Rider, the first Gambit, the first Cable, the first Deadpool, the first issue of Iron Man, not his first appearance. Uh, so a lot of bronze, uh, there was some silver. And it looked promising, so didn't see those at all. I saw a, a, a stack of comics in this case that was locked, and I said, can I see that? And he's like, I'll be right there. This guy was very frenetic. And then I asked him again uh, about five minutes later, can I see the, the stack? It had, uh, I think it was Marvel Team Up 141. Is that the, the first uh, or one of the cameos of the first early appearances of the black costume Spider-Man. So eventually he pulled out a magazine in front of it. I was like, no, I want to see the stack of comics. And he's like, well, you, I want to sell everything. I was, I, I was like, well, I want to look at the stack. He didn't want me to look at the stack. It took took really a lot of cajoling to get him to uh, actually let me look at the frigging comics. And... He wanted to sell everything for $10,000, but it was unclear what was included in that everything. You know, the boxes were all over the place, in different rooms even. And there was boxes behind this case that he wasn't even putting out there for people to look at. And so, yes, those were keys in there, I'm sure. And at the end of the day, this other guy was trying to buy a box of comics that he looked at, like just a re regular, like a laundry detergent box. Um, I looked at him as we're waiting for the seller to get back around to us because the seller's all over the room. And I said to the guy, I was like, is this weird to you? And he's like, yeah. So the end of the day, I said, F it. I am not going to you know, give this guy my money because A, I'm not giving him $10,000 for these comics. Sight unseen. No, 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 no. Do I have $10,000 to spend? No. I mean, I, I probably could figure it out if I wanted to, but no. Uh, and it would be cool to have that, that Marvel spotlight. If I really want that, I'll spend a couple thousands of dollars, not 10,000, uh, and just buy that issue off of eBay. Um, a lot of junk comics though. So it wasn't worth me going through those comics and actually, um, picking out what I wanted, nor did the seller want to do that. He wanted to sell things in bulk. I thought he wanted to sell stacks and like individual boxes, but no, he wanted to sell everything all in one. And he had phone calls about it and everything, and you could hear him talking to people about it. Who knows if they were going to come down? It, it was a big fail. So <clears throat> I drove an hour and a half for no reason, got to see a different part of the state than I normally would. Great. Uh, 
you never know if you're going to have a successful experience at these comic sales that you find in various outlets. So this was obviously a seller who was attached to his collection and he had a whole lot of stuff in that room uh, and he was not that motivated to sell. Uh, he, he, maybe the guy behind me got a better deal, uh, but I was done. I, I hit my threshold, I was ticked off and I was like, not making this deal because this guy is not interested in any sort of deal, nor is he interested in helping me figure this out. So big fail there. If you're going to sell things at an estate sale or at a garage sale or whatever it is, be upfront with what you're, you're selling. Like he could have put in his advertisement that this is what I want for it. I want $10,000. In some cases, it seemed like he was just assigning prices off the cuff. Like someone had a t wanted a t-shirt. It was like glow and dark back of it. I don't know the t-shirt market, but it seemed like it was potentially collectible. And uh, he's like, oh, this is like an $80, $80 t-shirt. I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> it's not my field. I don't know. But at the end of the day, no one to walk away and I did and did I miss out on a deal probably not I'm not upset about it I'm more upset about spending three hours round trip in the car for something that this seller could have been very upfront about and that's the disappointing part of this so I don't have comics to show you I just have the story and you win some and you lose some when you're comic book hunting. And I haven't gone hunting in a while uh, in terms of things outside of conventions. So this is uh, my return to uh, just neighborhood stuff. Uh, neighborhood, not necessarily local neighborhood. Um, but if, if you checked out this video, if you're watching, I appreciate that. Especially because there's no comics to show you. Just a little bit of footage from the actual um, event if you can call it that. Alas, when some you lose some, you lose a lot more than you win. Let's just be honest. So thanks. Make sure you follow me uh, down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, I'm a whatnot seller now. So follow me on whatnot. I need to figure out my first sale uh, and what that looks like. And right now I don't have a whole lot of subscribers because I've never done it before. So uh, follow me, give me some support there, and hopefully I'll have some good content for you on whatnot and selling some collection stuff. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.